In a recent interview, actor Dennis Quaid, you remember Dennis Quaid, the one that was married to Meg Ryan for 10 years. Anyway, Quaid confessed to the fact that he had been a cocaine addict in the 1980s and used two grams of cocaine per day nearly every day for like 10 years of his life. He said he was lucky because he had a white light experience and saw himself dead while on a cocaine high. This led him to go to rehab and overcome the addiction to the drug. Can a personal experience like this and rehab help someone overcome addiction? Stick around. Let's talk about it. So I guess the question is, can a negative personal experience like Dennis Quaid have help you overcome addiction? Yeah, it happens all the time. I mean, people get tired of living the way they're living and one day they wake up and say, hey, I can't stand this anymore and they cry out to God or they have a uh, an epiphany and say, you know, I've got to go to rehab. I've got to get away from this. It happened to me. I, when I was a young man, I had a horrible trip on LSD or acid, and I saw a vision of hell. And this drug kept me high for about 12 hours. And it seemed like every minute was an eternity. And it seemed like I was never going to get off of that drug, off of that high. And I said to myself while I was going through this, if I ever get off of this, I'm not touching this stuff again. Uh, I had a similar experience because I was addicted to an amphetamine called speed and it hurt my body. It made my body ache, it made me feel horrible. And as a result, I quit using that drug. I had a younger brother who was freebasing cocaine and uh, took so much that he almost killed himself and he realized that he had overdosed and that he could potentially die. So he got up and he began to pray, he began to walk around and try to, you know, get mobile instead of sitting down and falling asleep and he asked God to spare his life. He said, if you'll spare my life, I'll never touch this drug again and it's been over 30 years and he hasn't. But sadly, many people overdose again and again and never get off of drugs. We had a cousin who had overdosed numerous times, had been in the hospital and nearly lost his life. But yet he never came to that point of where he could walk away. He ultimately killed himself with a heroin overdose. The thing that we have seen that helps people more than anything is giving your life to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the great physician. He's the great healer. He's the only one that can change the heart, can change your desires, give you a new set of taste buds. You know, it's amazing when you give your life to Christ, those things that you used to love to do, you hate and you, you know, you turn away from those things and you begin to follow him and he helps you overcome those things. So first and foremost, we would encourage you to go to him and ask him to help you like he helped us. But if you or a loved one or a friend are struggling with addiction and you'd like to go somewhere and get some help, and, and maybe you'd like to try a, a faith-based treatment program, our ministry, In Your Corner Ministries and Addiction Knockout has compiled a list of nearly every faith-based treatment program in America. And that list is available at our website. Just go to addictionknockout.com. It's available for free. You can have it. And then if you've been through rehab, if you've been through uh, detox and you're not you know, uh, craving the drug every day, we have a good support program 
uh, called Addiction Knockout. It has an amazing workbook, you see it right here, that has daily exercises, it has coaching videos, it has testimony videos, it's being used in uh, ministries in numerous states, in prison ministries, jail ministries, churches, and we're hearing about people that are having phenomenal results with this program and we sincerely believe that it will help you it's also available uh, online uh, we have an online program it's only forty seven dollars or it's available the physical product that we can send to you and you can do it yourself or start a group it's also available at addiction knockout